Uh, what's going on here, Mr. Bell? Oh, hello, Dr. Davis. I'm just looking at the crystals we've made during our aspirin practical. Come in and have a look. Mm -hmm. Great. So this is just after we've left it to cool. As you can see, the yield obviously has dropped dramatically. However, you can see we've formed some really nice large crystals here. Now, again, there's not a lot here, but I always say it's better to have a pure substance than an impure substance. Okay, really good. So the next step then in um, year 13 is to filter this. Because clearly this isn't a solution, we need to get rid of the, the water and ethanol that's currently here. Now to do this, we're going to be using a um, filtration again, and we're going to be using reduced pressure. So we're turning this on like before. We are getting our solution with our crystals in. We're pouring it over. Again, making sure it's really quick to make sure it's all gone through. A bit left here. So the next step, we need to wash this with water. So I'll dump some water back in here. Make sure all the crystals have been put through with the filter. Right, even stop today, this. And pouring it through there. So now, as you can see, all of the ethanol and water that we used in recrystallization has been sucked through due to the reduced pressure and at the top in the Buckner funnel we will end up with our beautiful crystals. Wow that's actually beautiful. I'm just going to get the light again just to show the, the shimmering. Oh lovely, wonderful. Oh that's beautiful that. This is chemistry in action this guys. That's yep. great. Okay. Perfect. So the next step would be to find a melting point for these crystals. This is really important because if you find the melting point of these crystals, we can match it against the database of the melting point for aspirin. Now, if we have a nice sharp melting point at the specific melting point for aspirin, it means we've got a nice pure substance of aspirin. However, if it's at roughly the melting point of aspirin, uh, but it's quite a broad range, that means we've got some impurities in there which will affect its melting point. Now, we'll set that up in later on and thank you for watching to this point and we'll see you next